Hello and welcome back to Sad Boys. That's not how we introduce the podcast. That's fine. How does the intro go to the podcast? Well, I just edited a gold video. So oh, even... Sad Boys. Oh, that's the thing. Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis. Uh, I've, been thinking, I've been thinking about trying this, so let me know. Okay. okay. You're, this is part where you say your name so that we're yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be cool. The new way. Okay. Howdy. I shouldn't have done it. I didn't right. like it. Now, in retrospect, that was rough. I'm Today, we're joined by a very special guest, a comedian, an actor, a writer, a podcast legend, the one and only Carl Tart. Howdy. Whoa. That's how you do it. Howdy. That's our that's new, how you do it, son. That's okay. our new intro. You just can Keep teach you a thing. Don't you're you're hired, actually. Jordan, okay. you're out. Lean into it. Huh? No, lean into uh, it. Sit up. Hey, uh, howdy there. Oh, no, you're howdy getting worse. There. No, no, there. <laughs> you're also losing confidence what? as we speak. There's got to be nervous cowboys, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just kicks down the door to the saloon yeah. and goes, um, Hey, <laughs> I'm so kick, sorry about the door. <laughs> yeah. Kicks down the door to the saloon and goes, My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone I'll, I'll looks at it. I'll, I'll give oh, this sorry. This wasn't again. about you. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I just wanted to get bounties or whatever. What are cowboys doing? Can I please have a bounty? What do One. cowboys do? What do cowboys do? Yeah. They wrangle cows. The, all okay. the boring ones. But why yeah. were they cool? Was uh, that like a thing that we respected well, back then? Yeah, because they, I mean, some people could, I mean, it's a gift to be able to wrangle. Right. It's like you're like cattle. the cow whisperer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's weird that I associate cowboy outlaw out nowhere near the I range. I think I was c- conflating cow outlaw. Out on the range. A cow poke is doing cow work. Cow poke? Yeah. Look right, at this if y'all want to get really into it this early in the podcast. Of course. You know why they call them cowboys? Is it a, is it a only? black people thing? It is a black people oh, thing. It always comes back to slavery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah like, Dude, like, America and this slavery shit. Yeah. Give it, cut it out, man. Hey, no. Enough. Wait, you're not free from this. Yeah, oh, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. You, you, you're involved. I lived in Amsterdam for a while, and they would love to be like, well, we are not racist to you. We do not own slaves. And oh. like, you guys made the boats that brought yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. You controlled water. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Famously, you're involved. Yeah. We, we made the boat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Um, Carl, thank you so much for joining us. How is your Monday going? It's the start of a brand new week. Start of a brand new week. Uh, my Monday's going pretty well at this point because we got a tentative deal. Oh, oh yes, we did. Yes, congratulations thank to you. Uh, all of the people who worked tirelessly for you know striking um, against the AMPTP. Mm-hmm. Uh, WGA has a tentative deal. Uh, SAG is still striking, so yeah. solidarity to them. Yeah, we are. It still pins down until the actors. You know. But that's. I mean, that's amazing. I think the news came in last night, right? Yeah, that's does, huge. Does the deal stay tentative until that is? No, the deal doesn't stay tentative. The deal won't be tentative after this week. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Like they're gonna ra- like they're gonna send it to the board, and the board will ratify it, and right. change some of the language in the in the contract, and then it'll be. Yeah. Hopefully on. Yeah, I was gonna say I saw, you know, some of the stuff preliminarily seemed like it was very exciting. People were like happy about the terms. Yeah. So And then know. is it just fucking pedal to the metal? I mean, they're incentivized to get people back in the room yesterday, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So cool. hopefully it's a good deal. I can't wait to see it. It's yeah. gonna, I, I don't know what it is yet. Right. We'll get an email yeah. this week probably with all the deal points and that's Hopefully, exciting. then we go back to being unemployed still, right. but with the have op- hope. With yeah, the you option, hope yeah. that you'll get. But now you can stabbed. say like, uh, along with the rest of your credits, you can be like writer, which is pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 writer, and uh, I could do that, yeah. and I could do it. I could technically do that. Scab, <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't. It wouldn't be a wouldn't bad be thing if I did it too. It wouldn't be scabbing. People don't account for like, what about all of them? What are they going to scab now? Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. In this trying time, what about the scabs? <laughs> well, I mean, let's talk about that. You said we were talking about how online are we? Yes. I'm not very, uh, but I did hear that a lot of online people were asked to scab. Yeah. And because oh, yeah. a lot of those people don't understand right the ramifications of that. Yes. And nor do I think they fully care because they're like, well, I'm making all this money yeah. saying ice cream so good. I don't care <laughs> right. if I never work. That's what that's what we do also. Yeah, yeah that's what y'all yeah, do. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good, we'll good. do a six hour shift it's of ice cream re- so yeah. good. <laughs> it's, I mean, I just really like ice cream. So it's not <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's a really good point. Um, even things as tiny as, you know, I think I got invited to some like uh, party for the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing. And that was the thing where it's like, mm, I don't know if the optics are the best to like, do this right now mm. but you do see peers or friends of friends at like red carpets and they're like so stoked on it because they don't 
know any better. Yeah. And I, it's like, you can get, I think it's the influencer's responsibility to like, you know, be aware of what's going on in the world, especially with a big platform. But also you, it's a little insidious from, from the studio. Oh yeah. Too. yeah. Cause they're like, we can get these people who are more popular than the actors. Sure, that yeah, we yeah, have yeah. You, you have the, like the social media numbers or whatever. Yeah, but, like yeah. If, if there's there's influencers out there who don't have the credit list I have, mm -hmm. but the studio's like, well, they know them, they don't know you. Sure, like yeah. only sixty five year old women know you. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the influencers don't know us, the studios. We we have this like weird mystique and power and yeah. cynicism, and I think a lot of people maybe don't get how broad guilds are. Yeah, that like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, D taking away just like solidarity and kindness and empathy on the part of people standing with uh, those striking. If they want to transition in the traditional media at some point, which a lot of them do, it's yeah. not a great thing. To That's have what on I was going to ask. That's yeah. what I was going to ask. Do the people want to transition into traditional media? Is that I feel like what I was noticing with influencers that were technically crossing picket lines or whatever, mm -hmm. they're like, we don't care. Like I, um, I make so much money on this oh, yeah. app that I think keeps getting banned state by state. Right. So like, yeah. you know, hopefully, I mean, yeah, they're like, as luck. long as the, as long as the government doesn't ban TikTok, I'm a god. Yeah. yeah. And I'm untouchable, except for by legislation. Putting all of your eggs in that basket and like the TikTok basket is like, uh, working in like oil right now. <laughs> yeah. like, this is sticking We're around. so rich. It's wild. I'll see people on TikTok that have 2 million followers on TikTok and I'll click on their Instagram and they have 1600. It's a huge, it's a huge thing with TikTok where um, you can get famous so fast, yeah. but you have, I mean, and it's a, it's a valid critique of the platform because they're so good at putting, you know, your stuff in front of people's eyeballs, but they're so dependent on the feed that the consumer doesn't know who they're watching. Yeah. And that's like, you know, like people, no one knows how the sausage is made, no one cares, but uh, it's it's tough, like, um, because the only way that those people can then get back on somebody's feed is by doing the same thing over, over and over. And, over again. and that's how you get into like, this like one trick pony problem on TikTok where people feel like, and it's emo they burn out so fast, or at least I have a lot of friends on TikTok who are like, and you know, Jacob knows, it's like we have friends who are like big on TikTok who are like, this sucks because the only way I can get the numbers and like make a living is by doing the same thing over and over and I can't express myself. I kind of feel like I'm just in this loop. Yeah, you know, I've just, seen that a literal loop. Yeah, I've seen that. I, I, I love that's my favorite thing. To go yeah, to a, a, a TikToker's page. Like, <laughs> that first video is funny. You got yeah. me. I yeah, liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then you go to their next ten videos, and they all have eighty three watt mm -hmm. views. And right. It's the same thing, and it's them not knowing how to actually do comedy. Right. So it's oh, like yeah. you're not heightening the joke, man. You got right. you, you can you can do the same thing. Just yeah. heighten it. Just just give me something else. Right. That's better than this. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It's like the this is idea the idea that popped off with a hat. This is the idea that popped mm. off with another hat. Does that you like that? No. Okay. No, but I'm wearing that. I followed all the rules. Yeah. <laughs> That's what laughing is. I, <laughs> I'm doing it. It's like Coco Melon. <laughs> it's like, <yeah. laughs> it's like last time. Hold on. Before we get into that, let's talk about today's sponsor, Aura. Okay. Aura is an app that helps you control what private information is shared on the internet. There's lots of information that can be found about you online. Full name, relative's name, address, phone number. Data brokers will spend a pretty penny to access it. They want to use it for, to get more money. Aura will automatically identify these data brokers and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Bonus thing, they will opt you out of junk in telemarketing lists. I checked myself and it had my literal phone number available. It scared me. If any of your information has been compromised, Aura will give you recommendations on what to do. Aura's app also features a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, protects your devices from malware, and internet parental controls. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. Mosey on over to Aura.com slash sadboys to get a 14 day free trial and to see what of your private information has been leaked on the internet. Thanks to Aura for sponsoring the show. Now back to the show. Uh, there's, it, it, honestly, when I see people, there was, you know, a jump after Vine wrapped up and so many of Viners transitioned to YouTube. Mm -hmm. That was the birth of a lot of the 2010s biggest YouTubers. They're still very relevant now. This, I don't know, the market's a little more oversaturated. I don't mm -hmm. know how you make that transition. How but, do you do that? How do the screamers get, how how do the, 
Kai Sinets of the world become who they are. Oh, it's, well, a, it's well, all like jazz. Kai is like, I think a lot of it's parasocial, right? Mm. So you've got to have a connection to the stream. You've got to feel like you're their friend. I think Kai has done that exceptionally well. And so he has fans, mm. you know what I mean? It's not just like, oh, I see your videos on my feet and I like it. It's like, I will come to Times Square, you know, and yeah. show up for like that the was free PS5 mm -hmm. or whatever. And- uh, Or he did that, he was in the Uzi video and he oh, just yeah. tweeted and it brought, I mean, who knows how many people was Uzi and how many people was him, but it, like they flooded a street because he tweeted like, I'm going to a street. Yeah, <laughs> he's just a very likable guy, but sometimes it's like, it's like lightning has to strike, you know? Every yeah. It's like, a, it's a thing that people want to replicate, they want to study, but there's like that it factor. And sometimes it happens with people who do not deserve the platforms, you know what I yeah. mean? Uh, who are very bad influences, but they have, you know, tons of people who, I mean, if you like look at Logan Paul, right? Like he's- Be Careful, we don't, we don't want to go to <laughs> Oh yeah, y'all go. Don't he's, get me on this episode. He's been on, a, he's been on like a very long attempted redemption tour and it's worked for him because he's become extremely rich and famous, but he's also talented. Uh, and so like now you have, he's like ridden the like hate train so far that now he's a very successful WWE performer. Okay. And people are like just learning about him from that. And they're like, this guy is exceptionally talented at this. <laughs> and then everyone who hates him is like, he is and damn. That sucks. He's like, just a good broadcaster. Why are you which so is good at this? Annoying. Yeah, yeah, I think when I when I find because I, because I don't fully watch a ton of stuff like that. When I find somebody, that I'm like, I actually like this guy. Yeah. Why would you have to start off like that? Yeah. Right. Right. And because <laughs> you actually are good at like his brother. Yeah. Is actually a decent boxer. Right. Right. But I want him to lose every time. You want yeah. him to lose, and it's like you see, like um, my uh boxing trainer didn't know any of the con yeah. like the context about his life before boxing mm -hmm. because currently he has a lot of good pr you know he's like uh he's paid his female boxers like a lot more than they're traditionally paid he's like pushed the industry forward in some you know ways uh that people can respect and, and, and stuff but then i can be like did you know about these crypto scams though did you yeah, know yeah. about <laughs> these music videos that he did with like when he was in a music video war with his brother and how dirt how weird yeah. that got yeah. but most of time most of the time that like boxing has exists or athletics in general has been on tv has supplemental shit just didn't matter at all mm -hmm. it was like hey did, i heard you know, Peyton Manning kisses his kids on the mouth. And then yeah. it's like, other than that, like, yeah, but he's like good at this game. Hey, oh. man, that's Tom Brady. Oh, my Peyton Manning uh, hates his kids. <laughs> yeah, get it yeah, straight. Good. He will not kiss his. He would never kiss his kids on the mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's a bond principle. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got paid by <laughs> by Peyton Manning's people to say that he would even kiss his kids. <laughs> yeah, because people love Tom Brady. <laughs> they want his his steez. No, uh, but like, it's probably like frustrating sometimes to be like, like Manny Pacquiao is like a bad guy. I was like a really, I, really, really bad person. I've heard some things. Uh, he's, he's like a huge married. advocate for the ultra, ultra right wing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. the, like in the um, the Philippines, yeah. like the the leader. Yeah, I only know about my boxing coaches from the Philippines, and so he's given me the tea about that. But then it's like, yeah, but it's also like Manny Pacquiao. Okay, this. Uh, I'm going to make a very weird comparison. Last night I was watching Love is Blind. There's a new Love is Blind season. They're happening, it seems like, every month. And Still blind. Love is still blind. It's a failed experiment. I don't know how they can, with their full chest, say that it's like a, a viable alternative to dating apps and stuff when none of it works out. Do they still, <laughs> do they still call it an experiment every they season? They do. They do call Insane. it an experiment. There's no control variables. There's no control group. Um, <laughs> how many times does a surgery have to fail? Nick Lachey is still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I dropped the scalpel in there. <laughs> there was a guy, this like black dude, who's like probably six six to six eight. I, I was like, I thought he was like a basketball player or something. No, turns out competitive Pokemon player. I'm like, my man. I go and find him <laughs> on social media. He's liking uh, Elon Musk memes. Yeah. He's liking Tucker Carlson tweets. Damn. And then also he's liking MKBHD tweets. And I'm like, oh. I like that. No, but now I'm now I feel conflicted. I don't mm -hmm. want to root for him. Yeah. I hope he fails. I so, hope his relationship goes down. What is down. that? Uh, what is what? MKB. Oh, MK. This guy Marquez Brownlee. He's a tech. Oh, I know that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's awesome. Uh, he's also been on this show. Shout out. Um, and uh, yeah, no, he's great. So I'm like, oh, I can align with you on Pokemon. I can align with you on tech guys. Why do you have to like Elon Musk? Find out he's a petroleum engineer too. So he's like in the oil industry. 
No, it's because we're like, challenging you. This dude was... <laughs> and he's 6'8". This dude seems cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, ah, tomato, tomato. He's like, uh, he's really trying to balance it his way into heaven. He's like <laughs> doing enough Hail Marys to like just get over he's, the line. Yeah, he's, he's heaven maxing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's... So speaking of being online like we are too online and it's this is a great opportunity for us to talk to someone who's in the real world because um i've often thought if i explained the stuff that becomes a big thing online to like an average person it would their head would explode mm. <clears throat> so let's get into quebble cop okay there's no reason that you should have ever heard this man's name. I didn't even know who he was until yeah, like it's, last year. It's YouTube in a sphere that is younger, but also like not up my interest at the very least. Quebble so. Cop is a Minecraft YouTuber who blew up. He became extremely rich and famous, has like, you know, 15 million followers, and then like peaked a few years back. Yeah. And then he started to, a lot of these people, they burn out because they're mm. like, oh, I don't want to do the same thing over and over. I've already made my millions. So like, what do I gain from continuing at this? So he started trying to, you know, we were talking about the strike, the advent of AI. He is trying to replace himself with AI. So last week or two weeks ago, he turned his channel into an entirely AI driven channel. So the voice is AI. There's like gameplay of somebody playing Minecraft. We don't know who it is, but mm -hmm. it's like, a completely AI generated stream. And, and it's that, supposed to emulate exactly what he did before. His tweets are allegedly written by AI. Hmm. Now, what do they call it now that is X? Uh, Zeets. Uh, Zeets? Or posts. Posts. Could oh, we yeah. go to Quabble Cop's um, YouTube channel? Uh, so fun fact, the Quebec Cop AI experiment is not working. Yeah, <laughs> they don't like it. People, people are not, they're like, what do you take us for? It's clear that, you know, we're not here for this because if Kai Sinat replaced himself with AI tomorrow, you, it would be obvious that I'm here for the person. I'm yeah. here for like the friendly relationship that I, the comfort that I feel like hanging out with this person. I'm not going to get that from an artificial well, intelligence. What's cool too, is that like the failure of this or the underperformance is not going to have any impact on any other industry or any other creator. People are going to be like, yeah, of course we can like make Netflix shows with AI. Yeah. People aren't on some, it's the uncanny Valley. Like your bones just know it's wrong. You know can, it's wrong. Yeah. Wait, can we watch the, the neck, the most recent video 18 hours ago, just like watch a tiny little bit of it. I want to see if I even understand what's going on. <laughs> Beat their leader, Scary Larry, to save <laughs> Can we do it? What to do at the end to find out? Whoa, right. weird. Oh, wow. Time to go into this very beautiful looking house. Hello, welcome to your new home. Check it out. This actually looks pretty nice. I think that's AI. Yeah. So, I mean, Carl, we should say, right, the idea is that while he's talking, he's supposed to be playing it live. Right. Yeah. But, like, he's looking into the camera. With, with his, like, hands all the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's looking, yeah. He looks like he's in a hostage video. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, supposed to be beheaded. But so he didn't, because he's supposed to be playing it live. It's not for, he didn't, like, already play it. And no. Then exactly. He's doing commentary on it. He's supposed to be playing live. He's supposed to be playing live. Which is the point of streaming. Directly, which is the point of streaming. He's looking directly. It's like, it's the artifice of a stream, yeah. right? Because he's, like, uh, trying to make it look like he's streaming, but the stream never occurred. Yeah. And this is all, this is like an AI avatar. This exists now, by the way. There's a couple of companies doing this where they take video of your face and like deep fake it moving. That's crazy. So now it's like his mouth is moving and it technically matches the words, but you can tell it doesn't match the tone of the yeah. moment. He's not e emoting, he's not expressing himself. And I think that's also the reason that his, uh, his background is so sterile is because that makes it easier for the AI oh, to like yeah, draw his face. So yeah, that's what it, his hands were in frame or something. He yeah. Got extra fingers and shit yeah. like that. Um, wait, so could we watch that video now about him, the end of Global Cop AI? 11 years ago, I started my YouTube journey. My one and only goal was to entertain as many people as possible, to share my joy with the world and to form new friendships. I had a lot of fun, from playing with my best friends to meeting completely new strangers. New strangers. Dude, I'm 
tired of this lens flare transition. <laughs> and anything better than this, and I wouldn't trade this in for anything in the world. But even a dream job can't stop me from growing yeah. up and growing older. And this made me realize this is not something I'll be able to do for the rest of my life. I feel like he's gonna do a reveal where he's like, this was all AI. So I decided to clone myself. I decided to make a horrifying, version. by the way. Worse than nothing. However, I made a mistake. I thought people would love Chromebook AI as much as I do, both for its exciting technology and its unbound creative. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. So scary. <laughs> that they wanted to see me, the real me. It's that's not, not him. That's not him. This is my creativity tea. led by me. This is the story I want to share with the world. The story of Quibble Cup AI. But like I said, I made a mistake. I decided to share Quibble Cup AI with yeah, the world sure when he fake. wasn't 100% ready. He oh, look at his eyes. Wait. He, this is like a yeah. big troll. You see how he's blinking? Yeah, this is not real. That's why we decided to train a brand new Quilt Cup 2.0 model. And the results, they're astonishing. <laughs> Every second you've been watching of this video there so is. far yep. has been completely yep. AI generated. Oh, dude, that's why he's wearing a turtle, turtle neck. neck. <laughs> There's not even a collarbone to get wrong. Of AI and a future in which influencers can use AI to enhance their storytelling, <laughs> lower the barriers of entry, and share themselves know. with the world. It's like a big coat for like, I don't want to do any work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like he's realizing that it's not sustainable to do that and it's probably bad for you. Dude, to play yeah. that many I think he's just bored. Like, yeah. I, like, cause the, the entire intro is like, well, the one thing I don't want to do is ever give up on this channel. Yeah. And like, yeah. what is, what, what is It kind of yeah. seems yeah. like you are giving up on the channel by like, uh, outsourcing your own work to AI. Now you do get to profit on it. That's cool. But I think the the viewers and subscribers are going to feel like they, you know, he's pulled a fast one on him. Yeah, they're here for. It's not the same if someone didn't actually put the effort in. And let's be honest. Like a part of this, the reason he could get away with this kind of cynicism is that his audience is kids, and he thinks they're dumb. Yep. Yeah, like, that it doesn't matter. But also, kids don't want to look at like a Steve Jobs weird tonal presentation on a white background. Yeah. You look like he's at a funeral. Yeah. I'd love to know what these guys' lives are like who have been doing this for a long time. So I I started watching YouTube when it first came out. Right. And, you know, mukbangs and yeah, yeah. people eating Wendy's in their front seat and stuff right. like that. I, I've always liked that type of stuff. I right. like drinking a full like 12 ounce soda. I'm a big, <laughs> yeah. shout out Badlands Chugs. Yeah. I'm, I'm a yeah. huge fan. Yeah. But, I, and I used to go, man, I should have started it back then. Right. But the reason why, to get vulnerable on sad boys. Here we go. Uh, the, the reason why I don't do it is because I don't like the impersonal engagement very much. Mm. Now, I know that that sounds wild because I do a ton of podcasting and I'm on TV and stuff like that. But if you come up to me in person, right? we we good as gold. Yeah, yeah. Like, Come talk to me. Come, I'll, I'll do these. I'll do shows. I'll do shows in other cities and stuff like that. And and uh, people will come up to me and be like, "Yo, man, I love you on Flagrant Ones or Comedy right. Bang Bang or whatever right. it is." And I'm like, "Dope, man. Hell yeah. Thank you. Let's yeah, go get a drink. Yeah. Like we right. can kick it now, right? Because I see you. I feel you. You're a real person. Yeah. Comment section stuff. Like I just, I just can't. I, I'm gonna lose a lot of fans probably, but I, I just don't <laughs> like it. No, I think that's more relatable than you probably think because yeah. we talk a lot about it where it's like it, it's a double-edged sword you know yeah. it's like a, a thing that we profit from and benefit from but at the same time it can be very bad for your mental health to really Extremely. like go into it like especially like i've experienced this firsthand because i think i try too hard to like I don't know. It's like if, if you have any self-critique or self-criticism or inner voice that is critical you're gonna be able to find a comment that agrees oh, with yeah. that inner voice, right? If you think you talk too much, if you think you don't look, if you think your eyebrow looks weird or something like that, mm. somebody's gonna be like, hey, anybody hey, eyebrow looks weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, that's the thing I'm sensitive about. What's right? wrong with like this that AI Yeah, that's an AI eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, hold on. That's, yeah. A that's a caterpillar AI arm. Yeah. I would love a follow-up video to this in like five years where the AI is like, I never wanted to leave this channel. <laughs> this is the one thing I care about. And then a even lower res, shittier looking yeah, AI Yeah, it's comes created in. its own AI. <laughs> <laughs> you like know I love you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> falls off. <laughs> Bubble Cop specifically has like, um, I think I have a fairly cynical view because they've gone through this YouTuber arc of like, uh, 
this person blew up at a time when it was extremely lucrative to be doing like Minecraft content. And then they were getting like crazy rich. So uh, I think at a certain point, their content became like, check out my new mansion type mm -hmm. content. And it's like, okay. And that wasn't also relatable to their audience of kids who's like, I just want to watch you play video games. Yeah. I don't care about your like solid gold bath. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I think that like see, seeing that this is the same person who was like making that content, at least I think that they made that kind of content. I hope I'm not like slandering them, but uh, it's like that, it just feels like they're just, how can I get the most benefit for the least amount of work? Which yeah. I think on YouTube, because it's the parasocial thing, people don't really respect. So I think that's why it's like not really popping off. Yeah. Do you get uh, more people coming up to you from TV stuff or, I mean, there's probably a lot of bang bang people like, Chief. It's yes. cheap, yeah. Yeah, bang bang for sure. When, depending on where I'm at. Mm. It's like if I'm on the Vegas strip, I get a lot of black women in uh bachelor bachelorette parties being like, Hey mm -hmm. that's from funny. TV. And yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh and then <laughs> the other day I was in New York and, and I was staying next to where that musical Gutenberg is playing. Uh huh. And I didn't know at first. I was like, right. I didn't know what it was. It, it it's written by a UCB comedian named okay. Anthony King. Who's yeah, yeah. Been around for a long time, but uh, I'm standing outside of it, and people are like walking by, being like, "Hey, dude, I fucking love you." I love, right. Where right. are y'all coming out of? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is there like? Why am I getting recognized? You were standing this? next to the focus group for Carl Tart. <laughs> <laughs> I was also like, "Where are the girls standing next to me who would think this was cool?" Right. <laughs> I'm standing next to the doorman, and he's like, "Are you famous?" <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> but yeah, so I it. it different demographics for different things. Yeah. Right. So like those black women on those bachelorette parties do not know what the hell comedy bang bang mm -hmm. is. And those white dudes walking out of Gutenberg <laughs> are like, Grand what? <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's- Six foot five guys that weigh 110 pounds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think that's something that we can relate to just because we are more fans of like, I think, in the real world, we're big fans of like live comedy, UCB, like some of these like comedian podcasts and stuff, the like old guard, like comedy bang bang and the like. Uh, but then the, our fans are usually more of the like, they see there's other people who do what we do online and they see us collaborate with those people. And we haven't really connected the dots so much for-, for yeah, It's never who I think it's going to be. If, yeah. if somebody does come up. The yeah. Americana is where people come up. If I go to like near a mall yeah, or something they, on a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. That's tight. I, I will say, uh, kind of on the same lines of what people know you as and, and when you have like, I guarantee you there'll be somebody who calls this a comedy bang bang sad boys crossover. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> oh, the, the comments where it's like unexpected crossover. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's not a crossover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we, I, that, that was, so I did a uh, Game Changers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did it months ago, but it came out a couple weeks ago. Right. And I was getting hit up by people who, like friends from high school. Okay. That I haven't talked to since high school being yeah. like, man, I'm so proud of you, man. Right. You, I was like, you're proud of me for this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to Sam. I loved it. I had right. a great time. I'm glad that it reached as many people as it did. Mm -hmm. But I have been on network television. If this was 25 years ago, I would have been Steve Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's, I, that's so real. Um, Cause you just never know. Like when the audience crosses over, right? That's, I'll get that with, um, like uh, I was on Good Mythical Morning or whatever, like Red yeah. and Link's thing. And then it was like people from high school, like Facebook messaging me. They were just like, oh, I watch this every day and I was so surprised to see you. And I was like, you know, I've been, it's like when I started my YouTube channel and I posted on it, uh, I was like, hey, I'm doing this new thing. Nobody gives a shit, right? Yeah. Like everybody's mm -hmm. like, oh, that weird thing you're doing. And mm -hmm. then you like find success and they're like, oh, wow, I had no idea you were successful. That's yeah. cool. Like, you, you didn't know, you didn't recognize this at all? No, you, you didn't, didn't think we were grinding for this yeah. for this whole time. The crossover thing too, when I when I did Game Changers and people were saying like, oh, I love this comedy bang bang crossover. Like, it's not a comedy bang bang crossover. First of all, everybody on this stage you see, we've all known each other for a decade. Yeah. Right, If right. not more, like we all, we all came up through the same, program this the same improv like thing like yeah. we all have done this 
and you guys just don't know it. Right. So that doesn't mean, but I know they're not, they don't mean it as an insult, but that no, is no. why I also cannot be front facing. Yeah. And, yeah. and so, cause I take it like that. I go, why right. are you saying that? Why are right. you, why are you only, cause it, 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 I feel like sometimes it minimizes the work that I've put in mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the work that I've done. I don't think I'm better than anybody, no. but it's, it minimizes when, when you just say, well, I know you from that one thing and I don't give a crap about right. anything yeah. else you do. Yeah. It makes me go like, well, shit, I put in a lot of damn work on everything else that I do, there's, including that. There's probably right. a warm up period, right, for flagrant runs where people are like, hey, bang, bang, handbook crossover. Yes, nice. yes, not knowing that I've known those dudes <laughs> for years. <laughs> sure. Like, not knowing that Sean's wife is my lawyer. <laughs> like, not knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not, not knowing that stuff, they go like, okay, now I can compute this. Right. Like, or the people who, don't like me on comedy bang bang but then when i do something else that they like they go oh i know that guy i know him right, they take ownership right. like i know that like, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah one of, he's one of ours we go way back yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like we don't, we but, don't okay man. i don't know who you are yeah have some feedback bang bang l <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> missing on that every single time yeah. <laughs> um that is weird i guess that yeah like most of the stuff that you would I mean, like literally the hours that go in to your week would be not front facing yeah but the day-to-day acknowledgement or like the your voice comes out to the most in front-facing content that's yeah. like when people hear yeah if they're like i recognize your voice from somewhere it's like from the writer's room of family guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. they they do like people see me in person they go wow i did not expect you to be this large <laughs> like they, they, yeah they do that a lot and i'm sure they probably do that with y'all too well, y'all we, too tall guys yeah because uh you know you everybody looks the same size on a camera yeah. you have to fit the whole person in the frame yeah and so you frame it up i like, thought you were just like a torso yeah people are like oh i thought you were gonna be a little boy <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you'd be a tiny little fairy yeah um that's why i hate when there will be an actor who's like had some famous role mm-hmm. uh back in the day and then they're like whatever happened to that guy yeah. or i just saw that guy working at a grocery store yes. mm, oh how the mighty have fallen it's like people are, have to live their whole lives like they in there they go through the ebbs and flows of everything and just because you haven't seen me in the places that you're looking mm-hmm. doesn't mean i haven't been working, haven't been this working. Whole time. frankie also, Mendez became a race car driver yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. way better than acting. big clipper fan too <laughs> uh that happens like when people have to get jobs and stuff like that they yeah. don't realize first of all homeboy from the Cosby show. Right. Uh, he, they they like made him viral for working at. Yeah. Like, first of all, after you are an, an established character like that on such a popular show, sometimes you can't get work after. You get so mm-hmm. Because cast, the same yeah. people who were saying, man, you fell off. They're also the same people that when they see you in something else go, I can't see him outside of that role. Right, right. And Harry Potter, he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, yes, uh, Miracle Workers. I worked on that show. Right. Like, people still be like, man, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah, can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> he's, and yeah. I'm like, he's actually a really nice guy too. That, we've heard nothing but the nicest stuff. <laughs> I was surprised. I was actually like excited. I didn't, but when I got casted on it, I was like, oh yeah, this would be a fun day at work. Right. And then I saw him in person, I was like, Cause I'm not a huge Harry Potter guy. No, no, I saw no. the first movie when I was in like fifth grade, and then yeah, that was it for me. Right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect you to be so big, Daniel. <laughs> I, hey, I did not expect you to be the same exact size. As me. <laughs> Fun fact about him: he has a his like personal guy, bodyguard, right. helper type dude. Real unassuming, like British guy. Was a part. He's like Bear Grylls. He was like a specialized. He was like, oh, that dude will oh. kill you in like one. Right. He's got like, the special. He'll, he'll, yeah, yeah, he'll just like, <laughs> like he'll, he'll just. And he was definitely a dude that if you're some cocky like drunk asshole at a bar, I'll kick that fuck yeah, 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 yeah. He Throws he's like, tarantula. Yeah, at you. He's like, hey, mate. <laughs> 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 like, but nah, Daniel. Dan, shout out Daniel Radcliffe. He was really nice. Shout out Daniel Radcliffe. He. I mean, I. We were just at a, I don't even know how to describe what it was, a Jack in the Box crossover gourmet event. Oh like man, that comedy bang bang Jack in the Box crossover. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, I did not expect Jack to be this big. I did not expect Jack to be that big. Uh, but I sat next to uh, one of the, the, the Daniels, the co-directors Daniels, uh, who people now I guess mostly would know from everything everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you're a big I'm, Swiss Army man guy. It's my, probably my favorite movie of the last 20 years. Daniel Radcliffe is fucking incredible in that movie. Mm-hmm. And I think he'd probably have the same reaction that <laughs> I did when I was fanning out and sitting next to this guy where I went like, dude, I got to tell you, fuck, I love Swiss Army Man, extremely important movie to me. Makes you cry every time. He was like, wow, thanks. 
I, every now and then I meet one of you freaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I love this thing. And if, yeah. we, if you want just like to Daniel Radcliffe and you're like, I love Equus, that play. Where you right. Dick out. <laughs> Mostly the dick part, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that happens. When people will shout out a character that I didn't like that I did on Comedy Bang Bang or something one time. They're like, man, I love what you did that. And I go, you did? Mm-hmm. What are other characters, like other people's characters you don't like? Who are the worst ones? <laughs> Least favorite character that I hate. No, I don't. I, don't have <laughs> I haven't listened to the show in so long. I haven't listened to it since I started doing it. Oh, I yeah. Are does. you are you a person who goes back and looks at like your body of work? Hell, stuff no. that you do? Oh, I can't. No. I can't do it. No, I don't. Li- no, I don't. Li- Some people like, are like they like wake up, eat their cereal in the morning, and like watch people reacting to their funniest moments oh and my shit. God. And I'm like, how do you do that? I cannot. I would. That's mortification. To yeah, me. I can't do it. Like, I have my uh, my podcast partners listen to the shows and edit them. And stuff. I was like, right. I don't care what you take out, what mm-hmm. you keep in. Like, unless I remember, it, like, I don't don't put that in. Right. Like, like when I do Gossip Kings with Lamar, he listens to it and he edits it. Yeah. I can't listen to it. Yeah. Foosballs, I can't listen to it. Like, <laughs> literally, Galant. Can't, we had an improv show the other night. And Greg Galan came up to me and was like, yo, did you listen to the last episode? And it was the one that I wasn't on. I was like, no. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, I listen to it. It is kind of an improv instinct. Like, even though you you are recording some of that stuff, it kind of goes against your... Yeah, you yeah, can go back. Once it's, it's done, it's it done. exists. That's yeah. the yeah. freedom of the podcast to some extent. And, like, we do listen, I mean, for the workflow sake, especially if there's an ad or something, like, we... The team collects. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit different. Like, um... Like I was just having to watch back something that I did that like an editor worked on, but then I am putting my name on it and then I have to like make sure that it's like back, it's up to the standard of back when I used to edit everything. Cause just now it's like, we don't have time. Mm -hmm. Once published, I never rewatch my videos. Yeah. Yeah. Once it's in the world, maybe, hey, maybe. Oh yeah. I will just cringe so hard. Yeah. Yeah. uh, Yeah. But uh, I don't know. There is like a, I'm a no comment, I can't read comments. Not because they're bad or anything like that, but it's more a case of like, I don't want to remember that this video came out. Yeah. I want to enjoy the making. Mm-hmm. And then it's it's the, the the authorship's like gone. And I like don't really watch a lot of channels like mine, so I'm not going to watch that. I'm a more of a Quibble Cop guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Any yeah. human Big being, quite, I'm just not a fan. Any know? AI yeah. generated content, you're actually just a huge fan yeah. of. <laughs> Humans yeah. turn you off completely. I want my lip to move around when I'm not speaking. <laughs> Man, what if they do AI, Badlands chugs, and it's just, he goes, all right, here we go. And you see the liquid going by. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, damn. Dude, that would mess people up. They're like, I thought you were putting your body under immense strain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were marching to an early death. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, this really takes the fun out of it because uh, I like to do it along with you. Yeah. And yeah. With it. Joke's on me. I went and got a bag of Popeye sweet tea and <laughs> chucked the whole thing as well. Yeah. All right. yeah, now I'm watching a version of this where you'll never die. Yeah. <laughs> um, I... You said you watch. Do you still watch a lot of mukbang content? Yeah, I do. Like I, I like watching. Like oh, this guy eat the spiciest noodles. My one of my main guys is uh, L.A. Beast. Do you okay, know no. L.A. Beast? So <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, I I thought of myself as a freak, but then I showed my friends a video <laughs> of his, and they we we all had the same reaction. It's so funny. So he eats a. Uh, this video is like ten years old, but he eats a. A five pound bag of Haribo sugar free gummy bears, which are a diuretic. So, like, because of the enzyme they use to make the bear sugar free, it they make they make you shit. Eats this whole bag. It takes him a long time. And he's looking at this. He, he puts them all on like a big plate. The whole bag, and he's just going at him. And he's eating them, and he's speeding up, and he plays this like this song that's like. Yeah, and he's like in fast motion, and he's eating them, and the clock is going behind him. Then finally, he gets done, and he's just like. He runs to the bathroom and he throws up, and then after he throws up, he immediately goes. Oh. It's like coming out of both hands, and we. Oh no! Like, oh, there was, oh, there was another one where he he ate a bunch of like novelty big candy, like big. Like, Wait, did large. he know it was a diary? Did he know what he was getting himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. it's all like uh, Amazon reviews and stuff like that. Right. Say, like, don't eat these. Yeah, yeah. Because they will make and he's you like, shit. Oh well, if I eat them, I'll get a bunch of views. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. Yeah. Other, <laughs> it's just other mukbang YouTubers leaving reviews. Views, like shit, yeah. shit, so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. It's They're great. leaving it as it's happening. They're like, <laughs> I can't make it stop. 
<laughs> but then <laughs> he had this other video where he's eating these big candies. So he eat like a, a three pound Snickers, oh. two gigantic Reese's cups, a big Ferrero Rocher, and like all this big shit. And then he has like this a big uh, gummy Coke. Gummy oh, Coca Cola, and he's yeah. like half of that. And he's like, "This is disgusting." <laughs> and I'm like, "You didn't, you he's think like, even for me?" Like, I hate Coke flavored candy. I don't know how people remember oh, bottle yeah. caps. Like, yes, <laughs> yeah, no, I because I still to this day cannot tell you what Coke tastes like. Yeah, <laughs> what is? We don't I know. know. What it does. Yeah, <laughs> I know what it doesn't taste like. Yeah. Good, everything else. <laughs> yeah, like I like Coke. I go ah, tss. you know, just like the commercials. But then every alternative. I mean, Pepsi is its own thing, but like every cola product i do not know what cola is it's it, it does taste like what it probably is which is some like 1800s medicine cure yeah, yeah, yeah. cure all like for a, like everything like a barley that's antibiotic or something. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should do that e five could, pounds worth yeah there you go <laughs> oh, oh yeah i'll watch behind door number one so <laughs> yeah. it comes out with a yeah. big <laughs> giant gummy bear have you seen the gummy bears that are like uh, a, like a big giant one. Did so he that's one? the last one. So he couldn't. No, he, he died. He, he, ate, no, he, he ate all. He ate all of this all the other session? candy. Yeah, this oh, is. Oh, you, you can watch it. La Beast big, eats big candy. Uh, he. <laughs> He uh, simple, such a simple yeah. title. Yeah. He ate it, and then he got to the gummy bear. And he was like, "I can't eat any more candy." So what I'm gonna try to do is is microwave this <laughs> and drink it and drink it. Let's. And since it's gonna take me forever to, to eat, oh, oh it's eat. huge. Uh, but I'm going to put this in the microwave and then attempt to drink it. <laughs> What's with this music? This is like in memoriam. <laughs> I love it. So he put it in the microwave. Now watch what happens. I don't feel well. This. Oh, 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 we cannot show that. It's oh! <laughs> I'm going to eat that five pound sugar free gummy bear. <laughs> Happy future holidays to everybody. That was the giant candy gauntlet challenge, which I don't think I passed today. So, uh, <laughs> better luck next time. So my question is, what does he think he's censoring? Yeah. <laughs> the, good, the fine with part. The with the tiny there. scissor bar. If That's you show me that, doing nothing. not knowing he's It'll be like, that's a weird bowl of milk, I guess. <laughs> Instead, it's like, yeah. oh, watch my face. Like, he said, I don't feel well. And as soon as he pulled it out, <laughs> it's that so is, funny to me. We have to put, a, first of all, we cannot show that. Like, we will, like, that was seven years ago, YouTube. Different rules now. We will get smited off the platform. Uh, <laughs> but we should also put a warning for people that uh, we're going to discuss. What was his plan? The sight of it. It seemed like he was very matter of fact, like, oh, this is just what's happening, I suppose. Yeah. So I failed the challenge, but I did give it my full heart. My full heart, my full mind. <laughs> hey, what rocks is like, that is, uh, that's art. Like yeah. that, that's actually genuinely more viable, like valuable than a lot of museum displays. Yeah. That's like unique. That will live forever. The tragedy of the, like, the apocalypse is going to be that we lose that. Yeah. There's no way of archiving it. There's no film reel. You know? I love it, man. I'm I gonna. I, I wanna. <laughs> like I wanna pull eyes. some. Yeah. I wanna pull some <laughs> comments. <laughs> La Beast. <laughs> Big candy. Is he still yeah. kicking? Is he still making content? Yeah, he still got. He still oh. has new stuff. He'll, he'll, he'll he do, died. Actually, oh, really? he'll yeah. do random <laughs> stuff like. Uh, Look for he had like a metal detector. He'll go to the beach and look for him. <laughs> <Metal. laughs> all the same. <laughs> Watching him <laughs> up on the gummy bear was legitimately one of the funniest <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah, the eye roll. Wait, can I see that eye roll? Uh, sixteen twenty six. I I. <laughs> He's looking around like who's doing this to me? <laughs> Gross, dude. Oh, brother. <laughs> Man. Dude, we can get him on the pod. But <laughs> Y'all gotta get LA Beast. And like, oh. please have me back if you get him. I'm a big fan. <laughs> You're just on. watching through the window, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> recreating the YouTube experience. Exactly. Holding the gummy bear out. No, no, I don't wanna come in. I don't wanna come in. <laughs> I don't wanna come in. Don't wanna come just, in. You have popcorn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Welcome my God. to the land of hell. I gotta go, I gotta to, the go to the hospital. That's his quote. <laughs> 
I bet his, I guess his username has probably got a big kick since Mr. Beast's work. Oh. Let's see them for you, Ease. Yeah, he he has videos bad. where he like oh. eats cactuses. I saw, I, and he drank all those eggs. That's, that was one that oh was Oh my recently. God. 50 Wait. raw eggs. What the fuck? Uh, I guess eventually you do run out of stuff that can kill you. He is still putting up respectable numbers for how long he has been. One, how long he's been on the platform. Two, the stuff that he seems to subject his body to every week. Yeah. This is insane. Wow. Also, he, he kind of like fills my, I guess my algorithm mind because he's like a, like he played offensive line at, at uh, Drexel or something. Oh, like, let's go. Something like that. Did I, I, I uh, Not applied Drexel, there. Uh, Colgate. Oh. Colgate, he played offensive line. So I'm like, yeah, man, it's like a big athletic guy. Like, yeah, yeah, that, you, you played like, basketball, right? I played basketball in college, yeah. Yeah. Um, you still keep up with everything? Like, do you follow NBA? The college stuff? that I went to? Hell no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I, oh, I do I keep up with the NBA? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I went to, I went to, I grew up in Gainesville, Florida, which is like where the University of Florida is. So my whole life was following like Florida college sports, which mm -hmm. by the way, there is a, uh, an untold documentary. Have you seen those? On Swamp Netflix? Kings? Yes. Yeah, I watched it. It's uh, a Urban Meyer puff piece. Not for It me. is an Urban Meyer puff piece. But I, 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 uh, I'm with the bias because I was like living under it. The stuff that they don't include, though, is that everyone was mad at him when he left Florida. Yes, because I want to see the people who hated that shit. I want to see the people who hated it and still went on to be successful. Yeah, I want. Yeah, why didn't you interview Cam Newton? Yeah, literally, we have to. They literally breezed over Aaron Hernandez. Like, yeah, they really. It did. was. If anything, talk about exist. it positively. That's, yeah. yeah, that's probably it's the like, smartest move. Pretty, pretty good tight end. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Hell of a <laughs> hell of a game. Yeah. Um. Okay. So for those who don't know, uh, there is a documentary on Netflix, Untold. The other ep episode that I recommend is the one on Manti Teo. Great, great, stuff. incredible story. Wild twists and turns, but uh. Yeah, that I don't know at all. What well, Manti Teo was a football player who got famously catfished. Yeah. Which is something that probably wouldn't happen now or no. would not be frowned upon as it was back then. When was, it, when was this? This is 2000 and This is before six. we had the word oh. catfish, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. It was before the MTV show. Yeah. Um, it was, he he just got, like, he he got catfished. He met, for a long time, like for the for years. And he was in yeah. a relationship where he was like talking to somebody on the phone, never. And it was also like the technology wasn't quite there. Yeah, like, it's MySpace. It's MySpace days. So you weren't FaceTiming as normal, like Skype was around. But mm -hmm. then like whenever they would ask, like we, I think it hinges on us not having a culture where you're like used to zooming, FaceTiming, Google Hangout, whatever. Well, we have the literacy now. If someone's like, "Oh, I can't," my uh, my phone, my, my computer's being weird. You're like, well, yeah. "Yeah, computers are weird. Computers are weird." Yeah. That was yeah, literally. Yeah. And so, so uh, then it like breaks that this person is well. First of all, I'm like, I guess we're spoiling this like <laughs> decade old news story. I know, yeah. But his like fake girlfriend dies mm -hmm. so then he plays a game where he's like mourning the loss of his oh. girlfriend and his grandpa a grandmother or grandfather had died the same week or something yeah like that. And, and so he plays his game he he's really good in the game yeah he's incredible in the game yeah. and, uh, you should do that more yeah. <laughs> and then and then uh i think they he, she calls him again after dying or something like that to like apologize. It was it was something I can't Ooh, remember exactly. Great game. Great game. <laughs> great game. Yeah, she, I, I you was there she was like spirit. a sports better. Yeah, yeah, like it was it was a, a time for you youngins out there listening to this. Yeah, or watching it. It was a time where people would have MySpace girlfriends. Yeah, <laughs> like when we were in high school. There was definitely I I never had a MySpace girlfriend, but there were definitely girls that I talked to when I was in high school right. on MySpace that I never met in person. But right. Like when we meet up, we gotta go to the Grove and make <laughs> out. And, yeah. <clears throat> like it was easier to talk to people. Like right. I get why, like now I'm sure that's, I'm sure there's a ton of people who are in full on relationships with people that they've never seen or met. Right. right. But back then it was weird. To it us. was, it was weird. It was novel though. And yeah. so it was, but the, the, the big thing about Manta Teo is that he was the victim. Yeah, he was no no way about it, and he was also the laughing stock. Yeah, and it's wild to look back on how everybody just like made fun of this guy, and it was like 
on SNL. Like, yeah. Like it became a punchline. Like Manti Teo's girlfriend was like a, a big punchline in the media. And it was truly the story of this man who'd been emotionally manipulated yeah. and lied to over years. He grew up in such a strict family. Yeah. And it was like football, only football. You oh, only get to think so about football. You only get to do football. You only get to talk about football. Like that's the goal. That's what it is. And so he, he found like a little bit of like a respite in this mm -hmm. woman on, that he met on Damn, MySpace. Yeah. And she turned out to be fake. And so. Damn. Tough stuff, but like nowadays, I'm pretty sure that's like so much more commonplace that people have these online relationships with people. That well, yeah, I mean, it would be like a 12 hour news cycle. Yeah. SNL wouldn't even get to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, we got to fly, he landed on Mike Pence. <laughs> yeah. pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the the Swamp Kings one is like a four parter, uh, but it like it is very positive. But for the uh, to Urban Meyer, who was the coach of the Florida Gators football team from 2005 to 2010 mm -hmm. and uh, which was like prime high school years for me. And uh, when I was in high school, it was like all anyone cared about. It was like 2006. We were like basketball national championship. Oh, seven. It was like, yeah, 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 two, yeah 2007, 2008. It was like Billy Donovan's like Gators yeah. basketball. Joe team. Kim, Noah, Corey Joe, Brewer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Al Horford. Al Horford. Yeah. yeah. And um, and so it was just like college sports were, were everything. And uh, and they won two national championships in 2006 and 2008, had a really close like a good season in 2009, didn't quite make it, played like the Sugar Bowl or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then um, Urban Meyer, the coach, left Florida because he had had this narrative, which did make sense of like, I've been going so hard, I'm burned out, I'm getting headaches all the time, mm -hmm. I need to take care of my my health. So he leaves the college and every, you know, he announces his retirement and then everybody's like, no, please stay. And then he's like, okay, I'm coming back. And then like, uh, I think they played bad in 2010 or something they, like that. Yeah, they had a bad season. They lost yeah. a lot of games. Yeah. And then, and, then, and then he left for real. And he, you would have thought he was taking time for himself and like going to go to the doctor or something, stuff <laughs> mm -hmm. he'd been avoiding. But then like the next year, he goes to uh, uh, Ohio State. Ohio State. Yeah. And, and then four years later or three years later, wins another national championship with Ohio State. And it's like, Hey man, yeah. <laughs> Why weren't you honest with us? And then he got caught with the girl at the bar. Yeah, he was a coach of. He, he went to the NFL, coached the Jacksonville Jaguars to uh, to extreme mediocrity, and uh, managed to bring in a thirty five year old Tim Tebow for like a hot second. Yeah, to play tight end. Yeah, that yeah. Was interesting. It was, it was a wild time. I did not appreciate like the status of college football till I moved here. I moved here in twenty fifteen, but I first moved to the Bay, mm. and. Uh, be a little less like proactive about it no. a little yeah. bit but then uh all of my the first friends i had were all from oc and then oh, I, yeah. they started educating they took me to uh uh tailgate mm -hmm. took me through to a yeah. tailgate and I, at the time i was just like hey it's just like a barbecue people just hanging out maybe watching some football i did not appreciate that it was in the parking lot yeah. of the game yeah and then i was like uh first baseball game i went to as well i'm just like what is so people like we're looking at the game like not looking at the game that's bad what the fuck are you talking about yeah, we drinking beer man. i'm gonna be yeah. near the game and then <laughs> something cool happens and then we go ah! oh <laughs> i missed it you look at the replay you oh, gotta okay, make sure cool. you go to the restroom so they yeah, <laughs> so yeah. something happens oh man yeah and i think that like a lot of people even in the u.s in the southeast because uh, where did you grow up you grew up out here i grew up here in l.a but i'm originally from mississippi okay yeah but like in the so i grew up in florida yeah, howdy, in, by the way Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. And uh, it was such a big deal. Like, I didn't care about pro sports at all because college was what everybody, like, lived, ate, mm -hmm. and breathed, you know? Um, so now I'm playing catch up with, I still don't have a pro football team. But well, it's time to get you one. Let's take the test. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the time. Yeah, it's get the sorting hat. From yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> when, what uh, stops you from pursuing it full time? Full time? Yeah. Well, stop me. Lack of talent. Oh, nice. <laughs> it, 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 once you get to like that level, it's like, oh, if, oh, I'm it not, tells you that, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I can't compete with this person. Like, this person yeah. is just has a gift that I cannot, you know, 
I may have been good at this level in high school, and right, then you get right. to college, and it's like we were all good in high school. Yeah. We were all one of right. the best players on our teams in high school. And now my body's hurt. And I, yeah, <laughs> and I truly knees start fa- failing. Mm. Everybody talks about freshman fifteen and stuff like that. You put on you put on muscle, but you also put on fat because it's the right. first time that you've left your home. Yeah, and uh, trust me, trust me, I have huge regrets. But like, I think about it every day. Every time I walk into my trailer on set at Universal <laughs> Studios, I go, "Damn, I should have worked harder." <laughs> Uh, I, Nothing I, hurts you, right now. You think I'm joking, but I do. I truly think about this all the time. Like, I mean, I, all I had to do was this. I mean, not basketball, per se, but like football for sure. I could have mm, played, played a much higher level. But it's not like a lot of gigs, right? Where like it would be to the exclusion of comedy. You mm-hmm. don't get to also do that even part time, right? Like it's your entire focus. So like, yeah. Ultimately, that just couldn't be a part of your life. Yeah, I mean, well, I didn't. I weren't do. I were. I wasn't doing them concurrently. I was. It was. I played freshman year, and then we all got cut. We had a terrible season, mm. and then uh, I came back home here, and I was just kind of milling around, and I was like, I got to find something to do, and so I, I said, okay, you know what. Comedy has always been like a constant in my life. Mm-hmm. I was voted class clown in high school, <laughs> and it's always been a thing. But you know, you never really think you can do it, right? It feels like because we only see people, we don't see people's grind. Yeah, we only see people when they're very successful. And you go, well, that yeah. person's a genius. I can't do what they do. Right. Yeah. But then when you start learning, I read books and watch stuff and learned how people started. And like, oh, I actually could try it. Yeah, and I told all my friends, and they were like the same friends who like. Voted me class clown who did right. all this stuff. Man, you ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> you think you funny? You think you Kevin Hart? That was big Kevin Hart, Cat Williams years, like 2009. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. right. And I was like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. I didn't, and I didn't tell a lot of people. I would just mm-hmm. be like, out of the way. People, like, man, I ain't seen you in a long time. Where you been? It's like I've been up at these like comedy spaces all right. night, every night, doing this thing. And that's gonna be like, you know, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you get no, you don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Shit. Uh. And uh, none of them. Really came and saw shows and stuff like that. Nobody sure. really knew anything. And then I started to pop up on TV every now and then. Go, hey, was that you? Like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> yeah, like, and they and they and nobody else saw that path, right? Like, how else would you find out? Or like, that's why it's like bang bang crossover. It's yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. everyone else, you're an overnight success, right? Yeah, there because they only have a few touch points. Yeah, and I still haven't even gotten to that level yet. Like, I think about like like a Steve Carell, where they're like, mm-hmm. man, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and I realizing he had been doing comedy for like 25 yeah. years, right? And right. had had medial success. He pops right. up on shows every now. I can't wait for that. I can't wait to get the like. The the real big break where people go back and go wait that was him right because yeah. people do that now like I pop, I popped up on other shows where people will, will say like that's Sherm from Grand Crew on it <laughs> like, how's he wait a minute what wait a minute like, I got my uh, you had other jobs yeah. before you were involved in my consumption <laughs> in my consumption yeah 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 <laughs> and I also like this show it, that that really gets them when it's a show that they watched right but because they didn't know me oh when that came yeah on, yeah. They, yeah, like when I was on The Good Place, people mm-hmm. will now rewatch that episode and go, that was you. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I, yeah. I, I remember going, hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, speaking of Steve Carell, there's an Office reboot. I I, oh, I just yeah, saw what? this on the discussion board, but and then we maybe talked about it for a second. What's going on? <laughs> Do we have the info? Is it AI? It's not that Uncle Stanley show, right? <laughs> you guys remember that happening? No. Uh, Stanley from The Office did like a Kickstarter to kick off his own unofficial uh, spin. Oh, uh, oh. Oh. And then succeeded, Wait, but never did it. The Office starring Cobblepot, what's his name? Cobblepot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, well, well, speaking of AI, did you see? Okay, this is something that was like in our world, but I wonder if it got to you. Was uh, they made an AI Seinfeld? No, it, oh, streamed, yeah, that was it sick. streamed twenty four seven on Twitch until it got it accidentally made like a or not accidentally. Hold on, the AI made a transphobic joke, and then they they banned it. Really? Uh, yeah, like it was called Nothing Forever. And <laughs> it was it was wild because like every now and again it would like make a legitimately funny joke. Yeah, um, that's a really good George. So so it streamed nonstop, but it it's, only made it to thirty eight minutes. No, 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 no. It streamed for like uh, weeks and weeks. This is just like a clip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was crazy because like and it had like thousands of people who would just tune in and watch this AI generate Seinfeld. Like you know, because Seinfeld has like become a template yeah it's like become templatized so to the point where like an ai could like generate these premises and wow. stuff and the characters are so well defined it's like oh we know exactly what george is going to do exactly what jerry's going to do oh come on i'm sure it's not that bad <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 
That's he crazy. Said, the other day I was walking down the street when I saw one of those scooters headed straight for me. Seriously, what did you do? Oh, yeah, this is the first like time they Oh, this mm. is the first one. But anyway, like it 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 was like mostly miss, but like people would stick around for when like something genuinely interesting happened. That's funny. Yeah, it was wild. I gotta go check that out. Yeah, it's, it's a dark comedy. So. <laughs> they have one currently running of SpongeBob. Whoa. Yeah, I've seen some of that. That's actually kind of cool. Do they use voice clones? Because I feel like nowadays they would use, because it's the AI for voice cloning technology has gotten really good. Um, oh, I like I like to see the SpongeBob people sing r&b songs right yeah. yeah like that's become a whole a whole um genre yeah ai is getting scary <laughs> that's crazy well, i thought it was gonna look like because you know how they you seen the family guy uh like this is what family gonna look like if it was an 80s sitcom and it's like oh. they're like the real people oh AI. yeah no i haven't i haven't seen that but that's it's like those ones that they're really smooth yeah like they're, they're really faces, really smooth yeah. people yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. that is like, I'm like, damn, how do they do that? Like those look like real people. Right. Oh like, yeah. Like the hyper realistic. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Um, well, speaking of family guy, we have it on our board because, uh, we've heard that you're a big family guy fan. Huge. And we too have a dark sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a Joker style South Park twisted. Yeah. Freak. I'm a broken toy. I love family guy. Where, what's your, where does your history start with it? Uh, in the beginning, 1999, when it first premiered. For the pre-cancellation. Pre-cancellation, first, first and I stuck around with it. Uh, had the DVDs, of course. I saw y'all had the DVDs Yeah, I had here. to bring it out, I had to bring uh, it out. I had those. Uh, I, like, I watched it over and over and over again. I still do. Like, right. It's like my busy work. Comfort, yeah. Yeah. I watch Family Guy when I'm writing scripts. Yeah, that's like, cool. I mean, for me, I think we talked about this recently, like, uh, I used to listen to the commentary tracks on the DVDs, mm -hmm. and that was my first like, oh, this is how the sausage is made. Like mm -hmm. human thing. beings are doing stuff. It's not just like some kind of random series of events. That's yeah. what right. I thought The Simpsons was for a long time. I'm like, yeah. are they just like have an idea and then I don't know. I thought it was AI. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Simpsons guy first, right? Mm. And uh, then when they premiered Family Guy, King of the Hill was a little bit too adult for me. I'm trying mm. to watch that again now right and i'm like the jokes are much better to me now no i i watched it in college and i was like oh how i i understand why this never hit for me because mm -hmm. i just wasn't the right age demographic yeah yeah, yeah. It was i don't for, think it grown-ups it just i don't think i had the reference for like midwest americana stuff like, that makes sense his, to get that yeah his voice didn't mean anything to me I yeah like, why okay why are they hanging around <laughs> yeah, they're just, <laughs> yeah they're just hanging around drinking beer and stuff and it's like you know how weird like you know midwest suburbia can be I'm like i do not yeah <laughs> at all now do you like uh do you have your like like um era that was like your favorite family guy era like probably the earlier stuff if you'd like that was no. where you started uh, no after after the after it came back for sure oh okay yeah those first few seasons i i can't go back and watch anymore yeah um but you're but, not like a season 23 is when it really hits no it does <laughs> it does i love the new ones okay cool i yeah. love all the new ones yeah. most of them except when they do like the Rob Gronkowski episode, but even those will still have like a joke that I like. Or, right, right. But it's just like, oh, this is not my favorite episode. Yeah. But it, you know, I have ones that I'm like, oh, not my favorite episode, but right. I will say since season seven, mm -hmm. eight, like I will just turn on like when I'm going to, I sleep with the TV on, I know it's bad for you. Hey, but uh, same. Yeah. But when I am going to bed, I'll just go to Hulu and be like, hmm, uh, season 12. And I just right, started right. and just go, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, just so I know that I'm getting those jokes, like, and not, but then sometimes I'll wake up and like Venture Brothers will be playing and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta turn this off. I, <laughs> I never, I never I, wasn't the deal. I yeah. heard good things about Venture Brothers and I never got into it. It like never. It's funny. Yeah. 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 Or Metalocalypse will start. Metalocalypse, like just that. all the, uh, Adult Swim Adult shows, shows yeah, from yeah, that yeah. era. The, yeah. one, the, uh, the uh, like elite comedy guy thing to like. Like sometimes I feel obliged to check out shows like that. Yeah. I did finally crack open uh, uh, through my uh, friend Ethan and his partner. They love uh, uh, what's it with us? Like a, a milkshake guy. Oh, uh, Aquatine Hunger. Aquatine. Aquatine. Yeah, Aquatine. Great show. Yeah, yeah. The I can absolutely see a younger version of myself that would like try and enjoy it. Yeah, like, I I can't. What is going on? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I used to watch Aquatines. Uh yeah, I loved all that stuff, and my mom didn't let me watch South Park. Mm. But Family she, Guy, chill. She was okay with Family Guy. Yeah, and sometimes I would like when I got older, like towards like middle school, I would show her a bit, and my mom would do that thing that moms do where they have kind of forbidden you to watch it, 
but also they know it's funny. It's mm-hmm. like, and so she goes, "What is? Turn this off. What is this? <laughs> this is stupid." <laughs> like, you you know, what? you like that joke. Yeah. Right? Hit you with one of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows it's funny. <laughs> no, she quit funny. it. <laughs> I, I got to give my mom props because though she didn't let me watch South Park. And I honestly didn't really want to in those early days. To me, South Park got way better as right, it went on. Right. But uh, she would, if there was ever like a stand-up special or anything, I think she knew how much I was a comedy nerd and how much I loved right. it. Yeah. Cause she saw me checking out books at the library and all that type of stuff. She saw me always loving it. Yeah. And so when a stand-up special would come out, like Dave Chappelle's, Dave Chappelle's earliest specials would like were really good to me. And all those ones that we'd like get on bootleg dvd at the yeah, barbershop or something yeah, like that yeah. whatever cat williams or whatever right come out. there is a lot like, of that she didn't prevent me from watching it she okay, let me watch cool. it she let me she let me see like eddie murphy raw like there was eddie a, murphy a video raw, tape the video i went tape. back and i was like oh wow this does not <laughs> oh, it like went crazy you cannot today yeah no <laughs> hell just, no hell no. it just doesn't like yeah, it, you have to be in the eighties. You have yes. to like you have to cosplay. It's like watching a, it's like watching old Looney Tunes. You're like, that's I need to skip this. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Maybe not Even so much. Family but. Guy sometimes, like uh when I was watching as like a twelve year old, I was like, There's so many old Hollywood references and shit that mm-hmm. I do not they just completely went over my head. I would Google. Oh like, really? Would, if if it was something I didn't know, I would immediately Google. Yeah, it. yeah. You're I like, did, okay, James Woods. What's yeah, his? Yeah, yeah. That? Why is he here? Yeah. I, I literally when I first looked up James Woods, I'm like, so he's like a teacher? Yeah, <laughs> like must be related to yeah. school. I had a little buddy Cianci. That's what. Oh yeah, no, I don't even know who that is today. <laughs> it's a mobster. Oh okay, yeah. It's how I know who Fran Drescher is. Mm-hmm. It was via Family Wait. Guy. Oh yeah, it's like Fran some Drescher. throwaway. Oh, like where her head pops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she turns into don't feed your nanny after this. Like, wait, let me make sure I'm right about Buddy Cianci. <laughs> was he like a? I thought he was. Oh, he's a mayor of Providence. Oh, well, right, I'm okay. completely wrong. That's, well, maybe he's both. But he no, it was political corruption. So I think, yeah. Oh yeah, there convicted you go. felon. Yeah, he he had a lot of shit going on. Dude, these clowns in Washington, right? Okay, guys, give it to us. Give no. it to us. <laughs> oh shit. Um. <laughs> so like, yeah. Yeah. They. Wait a minute. Sh- two drink minimum. <laughs> two drink minimum. All right, just give me two waters. I can't get two waters. Yeah, two waters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> so sweaty. It's like, <laughs> man, I'm about to, I'm about to get mad. <laughs> Two drink minimum. I'm about to get mad. You better give me some jokes that I'm not gonna get mad at. <laughs> Where are my chicken fingers? <laughs> do you do much stage stuff? I mean, I know you do improv stage stuff. You ever do stand up? You want to? No, 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 no. Even with the uh, specials being influential and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to. I started with stand up, and I was like, oh, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. And then I found improv, and they reminded me of sports, like having a team, having oh, a you. coach, having a. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I want to do this. Yeah. Like this is way more fun. That's how Anastasia and I met. Actually, yeah. was we did improv together in San Francisco. Um, That's actually kind of how we met. Was the two of you doing improv in San Francisco, and then me? I was a big fan of Hamburg, like nice. seven year, eight years ago, whatever, yeah. and then. Anastasia, I knew from references from Handbook, because you knew those guys from like the forums or something. I I was on Hollywood Handbook when I was like a super fan. That's mm-hmm. how I know Sean and Hayes. Okay. And um, they invited some of their nerdy super fans on yeah. to do a bit, <laughs> and they did, and, and yeah, he just gave me. It's a hell of a swing that I took. They just heard the name Anastasia. I'm like Handbook. Literally, the only <laughs> other time other you've heard that name. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know you lived in San Francisco. It was truly like a, inc- a fucking phenomenal swing on my part. Uh, <laughs> Lock me up. I'm, I'm a genius. <laughs> what, 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 I'm in trouble. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> it's you in the movie. <laughs> what is this Rick and Morty season seven cast secret? They just like announced season seven and like they like aren't saying who's. Oh, they won't reveal who the voice is. Totally well, have you guys Ooh. watched any Solar Opposites? Mm-mm. So Solar Opposites also performed by uh, uh, Jeff Justin Roiland, who I've been in a coma for the last five years. Is something I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he obviously gone from the show, but a new season of that show did come out. Oh. And they recast him with a British guy. And there's just a joke. He's in his British accent. Is and it's just a joke on the show. Yeah, I did. Something happened with the science. <laughs> he just replaced him. Okay. It's I mean, they did, of all shows... Like, I feel like shows in, that operate in that space where, like, literally anything can happen. I just don't know anybody that's like, you guys want to hear my solar opposites? <laughs> I, I actually have an incredible Steve order. Yeah. 
Yeah. I like the show and I don't even know what his name is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... Uh, did you ever get into American Dad? Yeah. Because I was... Hugely. I think I was a big American Dad guy more than I was a Family Guy guy at a certain point. I felt... I don't know why. When I, I mean, fell it, off, it's really good now too. Oh, really? See, so the TBS version of American Dad is fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think I have such a reverence for shows like that that can keep... You know, people talk talk to death about how the Simpsons died at season whatever. Mm -hmm. But I think that like a show that can really continue going has such well-defined structure mm -hmm. that like entirely new writers, you know, like can come in and fill out that universe. Yeah. It's cool. I think, okay, hot take. And I know that probably some of my friends feel this way, but I'm just going to give my opposing opinion on this. Okay. The people who say that The Simpsons was only good for like the first five seasons are like the same people who say SNL was only good for the first ah, five seasons. And I was yeah. like, you're being pretentious. <laughs> right. Because it's, it's just like, when I liked it, it was good. And when yeah. I stopped paying attention, it's bad. When yeah. I had my son, I couldn't watch it. It oh, sucked. But sucked. It yeah. Because yeah. 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 that's why when people ask me about Family Guys, like, well, I don't even, those first seasons to me, like, and I know they had good jokes back then. Right, right, right. But they even make fun of those first seasons. Right, like they right. have They have an episode called Back to the Pilot where oh. Stewie and Brian get a time machine and go back to the pilot episode to like do something. And they just making fun of like, look, I'm watching fun. a TV and it's not even plugged in. Like, they're like, <laughs> like stuff like that. Dude, like, I like that. It's, it's like, I still like The Simpsons. I don't watch it as strictly as I watch Family Guy. Like I watch Family Guy the, at midnight on Hulu when it right, comes right, out. Right. Or I also DVR'd, uh, I, sh I use YouTube TV. Uh, oh, huh. <laughs> I, I do too, actually. Not sponsored, yeah, not, not sponsored, not sponsored but hey, unless not you, sponsored, not sponsored, unless you want to. Yeah, please. We're soon, actually, we're not doing yeah. so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things are rough. <laughs> but I, I watch The Simpsons still, like, I, I'll catch it. Like, yeah. Also, FX, like, plays it, like, all day sometime, yeah. and yeah. I'll just, like, turn it on. I'm like, yeah, I'm still laughing at jokes. Like, yeah, why yeah, are yeah. people acting like this show's not good right. anymore? It's still good right. to me. Yeah, I think that's a sandbox for, I mean, there's a bunch of writers on uh, I learned that are on The Simpsons right now that I really like from other stuff. Yeah. I, I haven't watched Simpsons in a couple of years, but I assume those episodes are strong. Like, yeah, it's I like they're know. not bad writers. No. It's yeah. like just familiar characters. My friend Christine Angle was there. Uh, I don't know if she still is, but she was. She might still be hey, there. Hey, shout out. You know Christine Angle if you listen to podcasts. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, that's the only one I know. Oh, uh, Mitra. Brothy. No, oh, no. Brothy Gupta. Wait, what's Mitra on? I don't Mitra know Mitra was on The Simpsons. Yeah. No, she's on something else that I. No. She's on Big Mouth. Yeah. No. Um, is Brody on Simpsons? Brody's on Simpsons. Yeah. Oh, see that again. Even more sold. Yeah. Oh, no. And that was an episode of seven. No. Uh, <laughs> um, well, Carl, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. We're gonna keep the good times rolling over on Patreon.com/sadboys with our Patreon premium episode, Sadboys Nights. It's, it's 3 cool. p.m. <laughs> <laughs> but please don't call us out for yeah, it. We yeah, got yeah. called out for the wrong time recently. Look, the sun is still up, and we'll we'll own we'll own that. That's LA, baby. Yeah, uh, and Carl will be joining us. Sick. So yeah, we just let him know <laughs> live. Sick. Hell um, yeah. uh, but Carl, if there's anything that you want to shout out for the yeah, the, let me shout some stuff out. Yeah, y'all, I got a lot of content out. There, okay? <laughs> Let's go. A lot of content. Check out. The Flagrant Ones. It's a basketball podcast that I host with my good buddies, Hayes Davenport and Sean Clements from Hollywood Handbook. Uh, Anastasia's a huge fan of Hollywood Handbook. Mm -hmm. uh, it, that's on patreon.com forward slash The Flagrant Ones. Also, you're already on the website, man. You're heading over there for sad boys. Yeah, 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 you yeah while ones. you're there, yeah. just add that little, add yeah. that extra little 30 bucks. No, it's not that much. It's not that much. It's not that much. <laughs> Check it out. There's different tiers and stuff like that. Also, free content. Plus Patreon bonuses. Uh, Foosballs is a football podcast. Fantasy football, football. We're talking football. If you like football, we're talking football with my buddies Greg Gallant and Ryan Meharry. Uh, that's where find that wherever you get your podcast. And if you want to see the video version of that, that's on the Patreon, the Flagrant Ones Patreon. And also XOXO Gossip Kings. It's a Gossip Girl Rewatch podcast I host with my good pal Lamar Woods. And we have a good old time rewatching. A show that is not meant for my age <laughs> or I'm my uh, demographic. That uh, is a great pitch. So, so it's yeah. very, and it's my real opinions on it. And we talk shit about it. We also genuinely we're watching it earnestly. 
It's right. not us just like being like, can you believe that this shit is this shit? Yeah, We're yeah. watching it earnestly, but it is our opinions on it. So check that out wherever you get your podcast as well. Uh, other than that, follow me on Instagram at Dammit Carl, D A M M I T C A R L. Come up to me, it. tell me it's a bang bang crossover. Yeah. <laughs> Come up to me, dap me up, let's get a drink. Uh, <laughs> Don't talk to me online. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Oh, Those Colin. are my boundaries. Yeah, yeah. You have the opposite boundaries of any influencer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, talk to me online, do not in person. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Cole. Appreciate all right, it. We you, end every you. episode of Sad Boys with a particular phrase. We love, we love you. you. And we're sorry. Boom. Do you guys remember when Pizza Hut used to be a sit down restaurant? I do. It, it had like a salad bar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, yeah, I do. I, you could actually see the roof. You get to visit that space. Yeah, you can see the, the hut. A little treat. Damn. We used to be a proper country. We used to make stuff here. We used to build we things, used to in build things in this country. Gucci girl, Gucci girl, how you doing? How you moving, girl? Moving, girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl, yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away, all you want it. Gucci rich for me.